Mark Rogers, TV and I talk SEC, just learning about the situation concerning Georgia running back Todd Gurley and the NCAA's investigation into Gurley possibly receiving payment for signatures, memorabilia, and the likeness of his image. So Gurley has been indefinitely suspended by the University of Georgia with the Bulldogs facing a date with Missouri in Columbia on Saturday. You can find out more about the investigation or what we currently know about the NCAA investigation online. We're here to break down the football situation at Georgia at running back and also should players be free to receive payment, to receive uh, money, to be able to market their likeness, their signature, to be able to capitalize on their football stardom and celebrity. Let's first talk about the football situation in Georgia because SEC football fans know that if there's one position on the field that Georgia can take a hit, similar to the hit that they took all across the board on offense last season in going 8-5, and five, if there's a position where they are loaded, it's at running back. Uh, Nick Chubb's exceptional and he will get the start as a freshman. He was one of the, the top recruited freshman running backs in college football uh, coming out of high school, and he will get the call. And you also, of course, have uh, Sonny Michelle, who banged up his shoulder in the win against Tennessee two weeks ago, so he's out. Uh, Keith Marshall had an exceptional season and really pushed Gurley uh, uh, two years ago, as the Dogs went to the SEC Championship game against Alabama, Keith Marshall, with over 1,000 yards and double-digit touchdowns in that season, has not been the same since injuring um, himself against Tennessee last season in Knoxville, and he has just not been able to stay on the field. So Keith Marshall, not a factor at this uh, point. Brendan Douglas is a sophomore running back who, as a freshman, was thrust into the limelight. Uh, and had to pick up significant carries against Missouri and some other teams during that middle portion of the schedule. Once Gurley was knocked out against LSU, Marshall wasn't there once he got hurt against Tennessee. Um, and so Brendan Douglas needed to make some significant playing time and did an admirable job for Georgia. That said, about all that depth, even despite those injuries that Chubb uh, will be able to step in, in particular, and also Douglas. Todd Gurley's a beast. He's amazing. He's the complete back. He can catch it out of the backfield. He can pick up the blitz. And, of course, he is a great, great running back. He is the best running back in college football in total, doing everything, and just as a pure runner, a guy that you can give the football to 25 times against a good defense and he can make them look silly, running through them, over them, around them, any which way Todd Gurley is the best player in college football. So Georgia, deep at running back, but they miss that dimension with Todd Gurley, and they miss it in a key SEC Eastern Division battle at Columbia, Missouri, against the Mizzou Tigers. So that will be huge. Now let's get to the situation involving Gurley, and let's assume uh, that he's guilty. And the NCAA investigation uncovers payments and money earned by Todd Gurley in selling his signature, his likeness, and memorabilia. We've seen this happen a few times, also at the University of Georgia, involving A.J. Green, the great wide receiver in 2010, who sold a jersey and missed four games. He was suspended for four games. So there was that incident involving the sale of a jersey for about $1,000. There was also the situation, of course, most heralded involving Heisman Trophy winner Johnny Manziel. Um, the details of that investigation by the NCAA never clearly came to the surface. What we know is that Johnny Manziel was suspended for the first half of the opener last season. So was he guilty? Well, he wasn't proven guilty. There weren't enough facts, enough evidence to show that he was guilty or the NCAA would have suspended Johnny Manziel for quite a long time, I would think, four or five games at least. Um, not enough evidence was there. So why was Johnny Manziel suspended at all? Either he was guilty or he should be found innocent or at least not proven guilty, but he was suspended for a half game. So something going on between Texas A&M and the NCAA. 
Then also uh, the very famous case involving Ohio State and Jim Tressel covering up the tattoo gate uh, involving Terrell Pryor, most notably, and uh, Boom Heron and some significant Ohio State uh, football players in 2010. Uh, and they had to, they were suspended for five games for the next season. Terrell Pryor opted to move on to the NFL. So that's kind of the precedent that has been set by the NCAA. Uh, so it would appear to me, if this is not egregious beyond anything we've seen before, that Todd Gurley would be suspended for four or five games if the NCAA has enough evidence against him. Should players be able to capitalize and profit from their own celebrity? Yes, they should. This is America. I know that there are boosters running around and a lot of undesirables around college football teams who want to leech onto these football players. That's a problem. And that would be a problem if this was made uh, legal according to NCAA law. I understand that. The schools could put a person in place. Let's say Joe's car dealership wants the Mississippi State football team to come on down, sign autographs, and receive payment. Well, the NCAA, uh, they don't have enough people to run around the country and uh, supervise. The schools could do that. I believe that this is America and people should be able to profit from their celebrity. And no, it's not fair. Todd Gurley's going to make a whole lot more money than the left tackle will or the backup center. But believe me, in some of these hotbeds of college football, and we're talking the SEC, people would pay the backup center and the left guard and the backup middle linebacker and anybody that wears a Georgia uniform, they would pay to get their autograph. So those kids could profit from their quote-unquote celebrity, not to the extent of Todd Gurley or Terrell Pryor or Johnny Manziel, but they would profit, believe me. And I believe that under the guides and under regulations put in place and parameters by the school and overseen by the NCAA, that should be allowed. Those are my thoughts. I have many more. Uh, if we can engage in some conversation about this, would love to hear what you have to say because I'm not saying that that would cover it. There would be a lot of issues that would have to be addressed in allowing uh, the student athlete to profit from their celebrity, but that's only fair. That's only America. That's only right in a democracy or a republic in this case. Would love to hear what you have to say about whether it's Todd Gurley and Georgia were trying to replace him on the football field as they come down the home stretch in the SEC Eastern Division. They don't have a home game for 42 days, and they're coming up on the meat of their schedule in trying to win an SEC Eastern Division championship. Or if you'd like to talk about the Todd Gurley situation, or as it pertains to student athletes trying to profit from their own celebrity. We know that there are all sorts of Georgia fans going to those Georgia football games every week, and they're wearing number three. Are they Todd Gurley jerseys? Yeah, I kind of think so. 